Hello and welcome to BB on Blast, BB20 Finale Edition. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'm Gaz. I'm Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay's um, in the sick bay, like David Guest Suite, That's and like, I've come to join her. You wouldn't actually be getting this podcast if I wasn't off work. No, off work. This wasn't going to happen. So basically, yeah. Lindsay's ill off work. Don't mm. tell the boss um, well, it's, i couldn't go in anyway so exactly and they've sent you home they so it's home all tw- legit they've sent me home twice twice <laughs> she keeps trying to go back they're like bitch get back home so this is all above board um i'm working later on so it's good we were gonna watch this separately and we mm. had the idea that we were gonna film ourselves watching it mm. separately for reactions and, and then filming myself today. fucking take the audio off splice yeah. it together it was convoluted wasn't it i am filming myself for a good week and a half <laughs> look absolutely terrible i just noticed those mushrooms growing up that tree up opposite your house uh, that's weird <laughs> <laughs> i feel like i'm at center box nice uh, gross. <laughs> Lindsay lives in a little lodge. Magical. <laughs> yeah, shabby chic. <laughs> um, that, that wasn't even it. <laughs> what else? Gypsy, wasn't it? Ghetto chic Get... or something. Okay, something rude that. about my garden. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. The only episode we've not covered is the recap. We, so we do not know who has won. No, we don't EV know. US, despite people trying to tell Gaz on HQ. Yeah, so I was on the HQ <laughs> chat last night and Alfie Sheldon logged in shortly after me. And, you know, I thought, I've already gone social media lockdown. I've said goodnight to Twitter. I've retweeted <laughs> on Blast account. I've told the super fans I'm off for the night. <laughs> Happy finale. <laughs> uh, oh, it's 2 a.m. I'll just play HQ USA. Don't tell me who they said because I don't want to know. Because I could win 100 grand in dollars or some mm. shit. Then in the chat, they're going, X housemate has one big brother. I'm yeah. like, A, I didn't realise people cared enough. And then mm. B, has it, in real Ed. time, has this happened? No. I was got, I freaked out. So I went straight to Rowan. I was like, is it? Has it been on TV yet? She was like, mm. it starts in 15 minutes. And she mm. said the final HH is live, so they can't possibly know it. No, and they can, people always put false, fake news in that chat anyway. It's well so annoying. Don't, it's like when I thought I saw that Ga- Gary had won Big Brother Canada and then I was <laughs> really confused with what happened. No, I thought I saw that Gillian had won. And then when everyone was voting for Gary, I was like, she can't have won. And then it was like, oh. She did. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was like, it was such a mystery that it was so confusing. Like those mushrooms. Justice for Gary, still, yeah, all these years still. later. So. Well, had a second chance, is it, isn't it? Yeah, that didn't go too well. <laughs> so, also, we can't really do BB UK at the moment because I'm not well enough, but we'll do it soon, so don't you worry. Save Lewis F. Evict Lewis G. Wait, can, can we just talk about this? <laughs> Briefly. I feel that it would be incredible oh, TV up. if Lewis G were to survive just to see the reaction <laughs> of Lewis F. Uh-huh. What the sh- it'll be like Caesar all over again. You know, when Caesar yeah. was announced as going. Of course I do. The face would drop like that. Yeah. It'd be on a par. And I'd like to see that, to be honest. I like with the you. people on Twitter going, Lewis F should go to Lewis G when he gets evicted. Oh, yeah, you're right, mate. There is only room for one Lewis in the house. I hope he does. Yeah. You know, but Lewis F yeah. has potential to play a bit of a Tim Dormer type of game. Because yeah. if he'd have won that veto, he yeah. said he was going to use it on Isaac, on Isaac yeah. to take him out of the picture, mm. which would have been cool. It's turned out it's. It's, it is that anyway. Mm. But I would have liked to have seen Lewis F put himself there. I like to see Lewis F's pictures of his top off. I'm really surprised because that's not your usual <laughs> I know, profile. I, he, does, he ain't got muscles like that now though, does he? Mm, He's quite no, but I told you, that's all that. enhancements. Like Instagram has this um, yeah. like detail enhancement that oh, yeah. anyone that's got a bit of mm. definition on them, when mm. you ra- hitch that up, oh, yeah. it'll be a little muscly and sin- oh, sinewy. Make me look all skinny in that. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be nice. No, just enhance no. your wrinkles. Oh, <laughs> Perfect. Um, anyway, enough about BBUK. You'll hear about that soon enough. Um, so, BB20, we both suffered through the recap episode. I don't. I was surprised you watched I it. I watched it this morning yeah. over my cornflakes. Oh, yeah, what do you think? Um, it was one of the worst ones ever, I thought. Do you know what? I, I remember <laughs> watching the BB19 one mm. and being like, that was shit. Yeah. Then watching the BB Celeb one and being mm. like, oh, that was good. We saw mm. loads of stuff we hadn't seen. Mm. So I was kind of hopeful, mm. but it turned out it was shit. Do you know who Big Jeff is? Um, <laughs> I've got issues with Big Jeff because... Apparently, he's, it's, he's, he's homophobic for starters. Is he? Yeah, I'll tell you a story about it. And he's in there with two tell LGBTs. Me your, tell me your issues, LGBTs. What, is, what, is, what does Sam say? LGBT or something. Oh. Um, my issue with that Jeff guy yeah. is, it sounds to me like he's been in there twice. Yeah, he ain't won it. Yeah. His girlfriend won it. Exactly. Mm. 
sexist. So if his girlfriend is a winner, oh. send her instead of him. Yeah, she's dumb as shit, but... <laughs> she's obviously looking after the big brother baby. Yeah. It? And that's woman's work, so mm. she wasn't free to come in. So and they got engaged in the Big Brother house. Was oh. it a case of the fucking... Who are those fucking nobodies that came back in this year and said, oh, we love each other so much? Was that shit? Yeah. I Why did they do that on BBUS? I can't remember them getting engaged in there. I think it was only a year or two ago. Imagine if, like... Oh, John James and Josie came in just to reminisce oh, about where they'd met. Like, it was the most weird I fucking know. thing. It is odd, isn't it? I'll tell you what Jeff said. Someone goes, <laughs> I, I, and my details might not be factu- factually correct. It was years Basically, ago as well, right? Was that yeah. Big Brother 8 or something? Someone goes to him, oh, my brother's gay, but he, t- he teaches, like, children, like, high school kids or whatever. He doesn't think he should be around children. And he went, oh, he went, oh you wouldn't have, like, uh, Dumbledore in there being gay, would you? <laughs> Dumbledore is gay. <laughs> Did they know that at that time? I can't, I can't, it was something about Dumbledore being gay. And then they were like... He actually is. And then the woman was like, why? Why wouldn't you have a gay teacher in there? And he was like, you know why. <laughs> why? Just Okay, I had this conversation yesterday. Fuck. And a guy that I work with is French. And he mm. said, it's really hard for um, gay people in France to be to get qualified as teachers. Mm. And I was like, why do people equate like homosexuality with paedophilia? That is Weird, not the it? same thing. Yeah. Like, paedophilia is like a... What can we you call shouldn't that? Have to explain An this illness? To, you shouldn't have to explain this to people, guys. No, no I know, but like, Christ. can we call paedophilia an illness? It's a perversion. A perversion, yeah, exactly. And um, being it, gay it is, is just, an illness. just a also way a per- of per- being. Per- also, a perversion. also a perversion, yeah. <laughs> there you go, solved. That's why. But it's like, and then it brought me to the next thing. Um, obviously, I used to live in Thailand. People in people think of Thai. Right. Thailand's famous for ladyboys, right? Which mm. I hate because there's so much more to Thailand than also, that. Also, that's an offensive phrase. But in Thailand, that's what it's called. Okay. Well, gatoi in Thai. So mm. it's famous for gatoi, right? Mm-hmm. And people equate being a gatoi to being a prostitute. Like, that's not the same thing either. Oh, okay, yeah. I have been, I have taught children mm. who were clearly mm. young gatoi, like mm-hmm. a boy who was should be a girl. Yeah. And you see it all the way through, mm. like, every stage of life. Mm. It's not like somebody thinks they're going to get more business as a prostitute so they become a ladyboy, right? It's you know? just I- ignorant people lumping things together, isn't it? Weird. Like, Why oh, do we do that? Because it's like, I don't understand that. Let's just lump that all together in an area where yeah. I don't understand it, isn't it? Yeah. So Jeff said that, and they have fun with him coming back. Just swept it under the rug. And apparently Casey knows who he is, so... Oh, yeah. She's not got any Tyler, backbone. Tyler, well. Well, no. <laughs> Tyler knows who he is as well. Tyler's a super fan. Have you got the Manchester Bumblebee on today, Gaz? Yeah, shut up. What? Did we talk about this on the podcast already? I don't know. I think we Yeah, I think we might have done. What? Oh, is it Disney? No, it's nothing. It's just a French designer brand. It's oh. from something called Project X Paris. Oh, sorry. Product, I place, thought you product ca- placement. I thought you cared about the people of Manchester. No, I should have known better. No, but I told you. I think I told you. Someone came up to me in the bus and went, oh, you've got the Manchester Bee no. on your t-shirt. I went, no. It's just from French brand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thought you were a compassionate person. No. No. I just like it. Um... So, basically, the final three were like, oh, we're never going to see Jury House. Um... And then Casey and Tyler were discussing how to fix the final comps. Like, she's not a mental oh, person. Yeah. So and he's he was physical. Go- yeah, so he, she was going to win this one, he was going to win that one, whatever. Why do um, they want to sit next to each other in the final? It makes no sense for either of them. No, all well, I'm hoping that one of them will come to their senses. Well, I don't think Tyler will want to sit next to her. I wouldn't either, but he said it the whole way along. I but... stink like Flash. <laughs> it's really just upsetting me. I've sat in cleaning product on the way over here, on the train or something. What can we spray you with? <sighs> Some Impulse or something. Yeah, look, it's somewhere over there. I'll spray it. Look, Just give a spray around my butt. You that pink? That pink. Can you see it? Only like more. No, I can't see anything. Gaz just came in and just stripped his underpants earlier. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> nice spraying of his own butt. <laughs> <laughs> I can't laugh or get excited. Right, on, excited on, that, on that note, yeah, I went to the clinic this morning. Oh God. But, Personal matter. I want to say this. P- p- private issues. But um, <laughs> when I was done, the nurse was like, have a good day. I was like, thank you. I'm going to record a podcast now. She's like, oh, what's your podcast about? Yeah. I was like, it's actually about Big Brother USA. She was like, oh, well, what's it called? And she wrote down the name. Ooh. I was like, we're really offensive on it. Like, I yeah. wouldn't. 
Anyway, she wrote down the name of yeah. it. Lol. Anyway, shout <laughs> out to Nardos, my nurse, if she's um, done the sexual health clinic. Why on earth if she's would listening. She listen to this? She, I think she's really into podcasts. And I oh. said to her, she was like, oh, I used to love Big Brother back in the day. And mm. then we spoke all about... Um, One of those, eh? We spoke all about... Okay. the Yeah, she's like, I've kind of fallen off the bandwagon with Fair it. Enough. I was like, Shame seriously, anyone. you should have watched the last 11 mm. Big Brother. It was so good. Mm. And this series has got mm. producers from the past. We're mm. talking UK now. Mm. And then we, we touched upon um, Jade Goody and Shilpa. Oh, and, yeah. um like how hard that was to watch. Yeah. And then she she mentioned Noreen. Oh yeah. She grew up in Elstree, Boreham Wood. She mm. lived from Elstree. Mm. And she's she used to work in one of the charity shops in Elstree. I don't know. She way. mentioned the charity shops. I was no like, way. oh my god, it's so weird. My uh, my friend, she loves like charity shops uh, and we go in the ones in Elstree. Uh, <laughs> and um little brother went in there and asked her to be on the show to talk about Noreen. Oh, and so did she, she Yeah, she was oh, that's cool. she was on the show before. Oh, wow. Well, maybe she'll listen to our UK one at least. I tried to encourage her to binge watch um, <laughs> BB Celeb because she's into Drag Race and yeah. Ross oh, Matthews okay, was on yeah. it. And I was like, it's only like two, three weeks long. Yeah. And um, wasn't it? How old was she? I don't know, but she mm-hmm. knew about Nasty Nick, mm, so okay. probably around our age. Oh, cool. Maybe a bit younger. Mm. Um, and I gave her the link to videobrother.net, mm. so maybe she'll watch. <laughs> you know. I've had a right old chat. I was like, I'm totally abusing NHS time. She's like, that's all right, you've waited for long enough. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. She's nice, I like her. Um, well, that's good. Welcome, uh, I've forgotten your name. Nardos. Nardos. That's a good name. Um, so, they had a feast, they had square plates, Jeff come in. <laughs> Don't know why, pointless. It's embarrassing, uh, as if these housemates can't look through their own memoirs without some ex-housemate. Do. I feel like they normally do. They don't, do they? They always bring uh, some I cunt I've in. definitely seen Dan Giesing come back in at some point. They ought to bring Otev in to do it. <laughs> People over their dinner table. <laughs> bring me the medicine. I need the medicine. <laughs> I need the medicine. Do you know how many Lemsits I've had? I tried to buy Lemsits yesterday, and the guy said I was from buying too many. You're not allowed to buy that many. I've still got the ones you gave me last week, if you want the back. I bought two boxes. I tried to buy three, and he wouldn't let me as if you're going to kill yourself with lem sip just make a really big drink and goodbye cruel world <laughs> don't try that at home people don't drown yourself in it in the bath <laughs> so <laughs> did you notice when they showed like a di- diary room segment thing all the diary rooms, oh yeah someone fell into the back of the diary room. i think it was scotty being a twat yeah he fell off the back of the chair it's like a projector screen that's all it's that a curtain. wall is yeah yeah i noticed Cheap. that from the start was, he did that week one Cheap. Cheap as fuck. Also, I hate that, um, like, where the exit is, there's, like, mm. a printout of some square. I Why? That, yeah. Why is that there? It's like that's the, nothing. It's like the... It's like the back of the diary room, isn't yeah, it? In green or something. Yeah, it's disgusting. Like a, it's like a rug, I think. Is it's it? It's horrible. It is hideous. Some of the design choices in that house are crap. That's terrible. Anyway, the whole episode wasn't worth mentioning. Um, but then it, they showed the start of the HOH. Hang on a minute. I've got something oh. to add. Oh, go on. I'm a bit angry at Big Brother Ooh. because, mm. I mean, I know they want to show some serious highlights, but they didn't need to show Bailey having that entire rant again with um. all the blood everywhere. I just <laughs> felt it was a bit like, <laughs> um, what's the word? Why didn't they show stuff we haven't seen? Oh, gratuitous. Yeah, I just felt like it also it makes Bailey look like a twat because mm. the flashback proves that she did say what she's disputing. Mm. Oh, like she did Flashback, actually say, like your pants. <laughs> <laughs> she did say that Angela was going to go up next. I think Ty- Tyler questioned her, oh, right, yeah. And like, I guess there was a bit of context that was twisted about mm. her gr- her being, I don't know, making out that she was going to be a target or him making her a target. I don't know. Yeah. But there was some something not quite right, but it still made her look like she was disputing the yeah. truth. Yeah, and also it makes her look like a mental person. Yeah, and I just felt like mm. at this stage in the game, mm. is there any need to remind us that yeah. one time Bailey bit her cheek and looked like a rabid dog? Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I think from, and I recently, I listened to Julie Girl pod. Julie Girl, Julie uh, Girl, about, Julie About girl. this, I think like, what we didn't see was all the context of how everyone had been treating her really badly. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. With the suspicion that she was the hacker. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, the one bit we did get a little bit more of was something to do with Sam. Oh, yeah. Which I quite enjoyed. It was when <laughs> she thought the, um, <laughs> when she thought JC had jumped off that tree. Oh, and yeah. That he'd thrown oh, the con. Yeah. And she went, like, mad on him because oh, yeah. that's his... She, he was supposed to be her friend. Yeah, he was throwing it. Yeah, it looks like he was throwing it, but actually he was just falling off that tree, mm. like, with style, which I thought was... And the replay of him falling off that tree mm. kind of tickled me a little bit. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I don't know, it's just so, like, it's like a starfish. Mm-hmm. And then um, the diary room edit they did was quite mm. good. Mm. Oh, that hot on it. 
you not? What, and crying and stuff? It was like everyone, yeah, like it was only diary room. Oh, yeah. Know, like, uh, yeah, know. no, I do like the diary room bits, but I just didn't think that one was that interesting. And they showed Fessy going, oh, I'm blindsided every week. Yeah. Oh, I never blindsided. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a bit of Sam, like, mm-hmm. revealing a little bit more in the diary. 